a little early, aren't you? I don't mind. All my queer friends are eager to know their fates. I take it as a testament to my skill. Yet I must say, I'm excited to see you. I feel as if not a day has gone by without your faith on my mind. Long are the days without you, my dearest parent. Without a doubt, you and I will be well acquainted. From stars to the moon, it was only a matter of time before they brought you back to me. Oh, I apologize. Most psychics live behind the age-old tradition of vague premonitions and puzzle speech. I, however, am loyal to ceremony and slave to my desires. Once I get my oaks in something, it will add no fury like a human scorned. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. I can still talk with the lack of sense. But you didn't come for that. So let's get down to it, shall we? So you asked me to keep it general. A simple reading. But as fate would have it, I'm feeling generous. It's not every day I get customers that look like you. I would hate to scare off such a handsome face. So I will be performing a Celtic cross, a 10 card spread involving your participation. I understand you seem to be going through a rough patch. A certain bad run of luck as of late. Please consider what might be affecting you and do your best to formulate a question. Take your time. I could watch you all day. Tell me when you have the question in mind, dear. Good. We may begin. Be good and shuffle the deck and cut it when you are ready. Make sure you feel familiar with the cards. How enticing it's been so long since I have had the pleasure of your fortune. True, it's our first meet, but each card you choose describes you perfectly. Sin and sinner are still true with you. To begin the past, nine of swords, late in the journey, overwhelmed and underprepared. At times you feel clear and radiate blind and bond your urges. It is surrounded by disappointment and feeling as if you are restrained by those around you, including yourself. She was no good for you. I am. The present, the armed, a major arcana, one representing the need to withdraw into yourself. A path of loneliness, fewer those you trust and even fewer smiles. Cold and alone, you need the comfort of control. A guiding hand to light your way. Intuition called you to me. I will bury that intuition. Oh my, you are truly naturally blessed, I see. <coughs> Future Queen of Cups, a loving but dark woman approaches unseen. She adopts passion as a medium in the expression of love. Obsession, possession and certainly domination awaits you. Most could see this as negative and keep an open mind whoever she is. I know she has much to offer you. The challenge always conflict forever it shakes. Three swords, a simple yet artful card, and a heart impaled on three swords. It is a pain like no other. From those you cherish most comes the deepest of pains. Trust in yourself and others shattered on hopes of affection. Whoever hurt you, I hope my voice can provide some solace. I trust things are going to get better. In fact, things will improve. You can count on it. Continuing, we reach the conscious. It seems to be your thoughts gather around two of wands. A card of duality, one wand, a man leans on planning and, and excited about his future. 
Head the other wand is shackled to stone, confined off to a wall, a typical sign of feeling stuck. Yet we offer better. The subconscious. Ah, I see the great friends and family. To be specific, the ones you like. Three of Cups is that of friendship and the joys of relationships. Perhaps you feel a need, feel understood by those around you, evading judgment from those you admire. I feel as if things have changed. Do you not trust me? Is this something you holding back on? Bad things tend to happen when trust is broken. Wouldn't you agree? As we pass into our seventh card, we reach advice. This card embodies burden, depicting a man holding ten wands, struggling to get a hold of them. He carries all his responsibilities, but is slowly being crushed. The advice is simple: one cannot carry all of life's luggage. You need someone, desperate for a helping hand, or simply someone to rest your head on. someone you would never leave or rather could leave we are have at the biggest influence the anged man a crossroad of confusion leaving no direction you feel lost at times in truth you know the way but not the destination you will find success in fashion but first seek new angles A fresh perspective is the foundation of clarity. Sometimes the hardest of problems, the most oppressive of challenges, present solutions right in front of you. We soon reach our peak. Your hopes and fears, ten of sword. Tragic is the fear of failure. A man lays impaled with ten swords, all from those he called friends. the fear that all you try and do is looked upon as nothing to be abandoned and thrown away with little regard friends and lovers all shun you it warns of betrayal but also that good things are still to come perseverance and beauty are just on the horizon soon a singular choice will present itself a return to form At last we come to our final card the lovers Adam and Eve were watched by an angel a card of good omens a deep love is sure to be in your future it it represents a choice a simple yes or no it is matter of love will you accept her for all her faults or shun her and turn away the love you need It are for peering into your destiny and altering it beyond imagination. Is that truly something you would hold against her, or would you accept the love and passion she has for you? At the core of her heart, she hopes you answer wisely. For the lovers are also seen in the towers, falling from great height, seemingly pushed by shadowed women. the fall terribly far so what is your answer my dearest querent i admire tenacity yet it seems something still plague you your fate is sealed on the lips of obsession and absolute authority the dark woman follows and so only misfortune leads the way but don't worry it's nothing we haven't dealt with before i have just the solution but you have to act quickly i have a feeling whatever you are going through only going to get worse i have everything you need but it comes at cost i can bless you turn your misfortune to fame turn night into day if you do wish it it requires daily blessing every moment at my side to guarantee your safety This reading has revealed much. I see how isolated you are, how much you need a soft touch. The only for your life to get better is 
me. I am the only one who has what you desire. To feel like you can take the world by the horns. With me by your side again, I can control your fate. Make every little annoyance fall away. If you decide, however, that my services aren't worth it, I foresee a very dark future. A fall that leaves you crippled and broken. Everlasting love shackled to the wall. A gentle push and harsh fall. So, my dearest, you have a choice. Will you accept my service or shun me away? Thank you.